If she can think it, she can move it. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 female characters with telekinetic powers. Uh, Piper. Piper the Night! For this list, we've gathered together the most impressive female characters from the worlds of TV and film that are able to move things with their minds. No more Miss Nice Girl. We're excluding female characters from anime, though. Number 10, Hexadecimal, Reboot. You lie! You lie! I was a fool to trust you! We open today's countdown with the Queen of Chaos, Hexadecimal, one of the predominant antagonists in this CGI animated series. Now we can't have any of that, young man. And you? Immune to my Medusa. How very disappointing. As the inheritor of Gigabyte's many malware-inspired powers, she terrorizes the reboot world of Mainframe with a unique and unpredictable brand of villainy. He is my brother! <laughs> the whole series acted as a precursor for the digital generation when it first aired in 1994, and Hexadecimal is a virus we'd wish upon no one. I was afraid that you had left. Shall we? Damn. Perhaps her only redeemable feature is the ever-changing masks she wears that show how she's feeling. They're the 90s equivalent of emoticons. Sorry, Bob. You were saying? Number 9. Willow Rosenberg, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Me. Thanks. It's all about emotional control. As a founding member of the Scooby Gang and Buffy's best friend, Willow plays an integral part in the cult Vampire Slayer series. Excuse me. She's also one of the most complex characters on the show, switching between sides as she seeks to make sense of her very considerable powers. As thou art burning, let Oz and Veruca's deceitful hearts be broken. The shy high schooler turned super skilled witch does have a dark side, and it really comes to the fore in the show's sixth season. But when Willow's fighting for the good guys, there's really no better sidekick in all the supernatural world. It's Buffy's name on the title, but where would the eponymous slayer be without Willow? Get off, super bitch! Number 8. Prue Halliwell. Charmed. I am so sick of saving your asses! A central character in the first three seasons of Charmed, Prue Halliwell perfects her telekinesis as one of the three sisters destined to be one of the most powerful witches ever known. Stay back. This is my fight. <laughs> At first, her powers appear limited, but over time, she learns how to move heavier objects in more complicated ways. During a season two skip to the future, she appears to have developed an excessively powerful force. Been working out? Well, I guess that's a little sample of what 10 years does to our powers and to our attic. Reported onset tensions between cast members meant that Prue's spell in the show was shorter than many fans would have liked, but she's still considered one of the most kick-ass witches ever created. How do you do that? If you want the empath, you're gonna have to go through me. Number 7. Matilda Wormwood. Matilda. What do I have to do to gain respect around here? I'm gonna give you a tanning like you never heard in your life! My word is my law! Your is law! Of course, there are other ways of using telekinesis rather than fighting. Road Doll's Matilda starts small by learning how to make hands-free breakfast. Next, after only a few spilt Cheerios, she's dancing around her living room commanding all her family's things to do exactly as she pleases. A child already gifted with supreme intelligence and a limitless love for reading, she also uses her abilities to explode the TV and impress her class teacher, Miss Honey. But she saves her best work for the formidable headmistress, Miss Trunchbull. Agnes. As Matilda's class reads Trunchbull a chalkboard message from beyond the grave, you just can't blame the woman for feeling petrified. I will get you like you got me. That is a promise. <laughs> Number 6. Scarlet Witch, Marvel Universe. If you stay here, you'll die. I just did. Wanda Maximoff, aka Scarlet Witch, is a staple Marvel superhero and one of the MCU's most gifted telekinetic females. 
For a long time, it was believed that her and her brother Quicksilver were the children of X-Men antagonist Magneto. But 21st century tweaks to the Marvel canon revealed that Maximoff wasn't actually born a mutant, but became one following extensive experimentation. Either way, her powers enable her to cast hexes, with which she can manipulate where people and objects are, what they do, and when they do it. Although she has made several appearances on the small screen, it was after being brought into the cinematic universe mid-credits for Winter Soldier that she really became one of Marvel's biggest draws. There's nothing more horrifying than a miracle. Number 5. Raven, Teen Titans Now, if nobody minds, I'll be taking the gold. I mind. Lazarus, ah! As one of the five central characters in DC's mid-2000s animated series, Teen Titans, Raven is quiet, mysterious, clever, and extremely powerful. What's the matter? Afraid of the light? <laughs> She's more reclusive than the rest of this adolescent ensemble, which also includes Robin, Starfire, Cyborg, and Beast Boy. But the potential for her powers is also arguably greater. <laughs> Raven practices meditation and suppresses her emotions to keep her telekinetic abilities in check. But she has been known to lose control, and you can blame her estranged demon dad for that. The Earth is mine! Check out Season 4 of the show for a particular focus on Raven's origin story, and a character that's seriously cool and kind of scary at the same time. I'm not just a person. I'm a portal. Number 4. Eleven. Stranger Things. You have to pay for those! Stop right there! Thief! Thief! At number 4, it's Eleven, a one-time prisoner turned escapee from a governmentally run mad science laboratory. Because today, we make history. Today, we make contact. Assumed to have been born into this world as Jane Eves, she had her social identity taken away and was given a new numerical name on account of a tattoo she wears on her arm. Is that real? Sorry, I've just never seen a kid with a tattoo before. The first season of Stranger Things explores her mysterious backstory. Why is she branded? Why does she behave so strangely? And how on earth can she move things as soon as she looks at them? With the help of Mike, Lucas, and Dustin, she and we gradually get answers. These are friends of Jean Crazy! You come back here and she'll kill you! You hear me? She'll kill you, you son of bitches! Number 3. Ray. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. It's in there. And now you'll give it to me. At the beginning of the J.J. Abrams directed and long awaited seventh installment of the Star Wars saga, Rey seems just your average, if otherworldly, girl. It's not until she chances upon BB 8, a droid containing crucial information relating to Luke Skywalker's whereabouts, that her sensational story unfolds. <laughs> That's just Tito. Wants you for parts. He's no respect for anyone. She travels across galaxies with renegade stormtrooper Finn, gaining knowledge and power, honing her increasingly apparent abilities until a final showdown with Kylo Ren. Here, her telekinetic skills really come to the fore as she snatches a lightsaber from Kylo's own grip. Needless to say, the Force is strong with this one. What was that? <laughs> I shouldn't have gone in there. Number 2. Jean Grey, Marvel Universe Stay out of my head. As a vital figure in the X-Men world, Jean Grey, otherwise known as Marvel Girl, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, and Jean Grey Summer's post-marriage, is Professor Charles Xavier's protege, holding telekinetic and telepathic powers since birth. In truth, as she is an Omega-level mutant, there are very few beings with more superpower potential than her. Charles takes Jean under his wing and introduces her telepathy gradually, while her telekinesis also steadily develops. These mutations manifest at puberty and are often triggered by periods of heightened emotional stress. While others on today's list experience limits to their abilities, there are very few bounds to what Jean Grey can do, which we've seen in both her small and big screen appearances. Wolverine felt him. Such 
This includes her ability to experience the world with molecular and subatomic sensitivity, which gives her sometimes goddess-like capabilities that are greater than even her most gifted mutant peers. I can manipulate the metal in this, but you, you can do anything. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So because he's a hologram, he doesn't have to be treated with respect or any consideration at all. Hello, Mother. Number one, Carrie White. Carrie. If I concentrate hard enough, I can move things. She's the queen of telekinesis and the mind behind one of cinema's most memorable massacres. Carrie White's story begins when she gets her first period after gym class at school. She's ridiculed by the other girls and later punished by her mother. Oh, my! Oh, don't no. lie to me, Carrie. Don't you know by now I can see inside you? I can see the thing as surely as God can. No, no, you're we'll me. pray. No! It's the first of various incidents that see Carrie taunted and bullied to the point of panic. At first, her seemingly uncontrollable reactions are relatively small, and then the infamous bucket full of pig's blood sends her over the edge. And Carrie's schoolmates stand absolutely zero chance. It's a fit of blind rage boosted by telekinetic chaos, and it's one of the finest, most famous moments in horror movie history. Do you agree with our list? Isn't that everything you wanted? Whose telekinesis most moves you? For more super-powered top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Enough!